We always like to make it difficult for ourselves. What's going on guys? Welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and honestly I don't really know how I'm going to be able to put quite what I'm feeling at the moment into words. We've just ended this nine year trophy drought. We've won one of the most prestigious tournaments with the FA Cup after beating Hull 3-2 in the final and just an absolutely hectic game. It, this kind of game really personifies the kind of season we've been having. A real roller coaster. Um, and I, just, I just don't know how I'm going to be able to talk about it, to be honest. I'm just so over the moon and relieved that we've got that horrible, sticky drought off our back. That we, we, the relief is immense that we're not going to be able to have to think about that anymore. That we can really push on from this moment and go on to bigger and better things. And this was just, just a, a perfect way to end the season. And it just... Maybe it wasn't the ideal way to win the cup. Maybe it wasn't what everyone expected. Maybe we didn't beat Hull 3 or 4-0 in the final. But you know what? At the end of the day, all that matters is that we were the ones on that podium lifting the FA Cup trophy. And that's exactly what Arsenal have done today. They have shown immense character to come back with three goals. Um, I, and, you know, it didn't. It really didn't start off well, this game. And, you know, I was really questioning the players' mentality going into it, no, we're not going into it because I, I've got to be honest, I was really confident going into it, I never thought that we were going to win this one 2, 3, 4 nil, like some people were saying, I mean, I don't know if that's a bit of overconfidence mixed with the momentum that we've been having, I can totally understand why people were predicting that because Hull haven't been on good form, I knew they were going to give absolutely everything in, the, in this game and, you know, before I start, start talking about anything more in depth, I've got to say, well done to Hull, they really took the game to us today, it could be argued that they deserve to win at times, I think we were the more dominant side, but in that first half, Hull was so in control of the game and they uh, they really fought for it but in the end uh, we came out winners but like I said Hull massive plaudits has to go to you um, and we st like this game I, I'm still trying to tr struggle to talk about it because it's just so hard to collaborate everything that went on in this game put it into words and then do a video about it to be honest because there's just so many emotions going around right now but it didn't start off great, I mean, considering two goals in eight minutes. I mean, I you're just kind of looking at that and you're thinking, what's going on here? I mean, if we got the mentality to go out and win these games, it was kind of going the exact same way that those games against uh, Everton, uh, Liverpool, Chelsea, City have all gone. Those horrible, mauling defeats. And, you know, if it wasn't for an excellent Kieran Gibbs header, we could have been 3-0 down in about 20 minutes. And I really did not expect this. I thought the players would be really hyped up for this game. They'd go into it and they'd give it, give everything. And, you know, when we conceded an early goal, I think it was about five minutes in, uh, and that was so poorly defended as well, that first goal. I mean, no one picked up Tom Holliston on the box, um, on the edge of the box, shall I say. Excellent volley from him into uh, into the penalty area. Podolski didn't pick up his man, and it was 1-0. And that was so obviously a set-piece routine uh, that I had rehearsed in training. And you could kind of tell that going into the game, that the only chance Hull were going to get was through a set piece. That's exactly where they punished us early on. Massively took the wind out of ourselves, and we kind of thinking, what do we do now? I mean, I was really expecting us to come at Hull from them, but we didn't. We kind of laid off them a bit, and for about five, ten minutes, we were just passing the ball around the back, doing these lovely moves, but, you know, when we're in possession and we're not really doing anything with it at the other end of the pitch, it doesn't really count for anything. And then we were punished yet again, going 2-0 down, and in my opinion, this goal shouldn't have stood. Seeing as uh, the refereeing for this goal was just appalling. I mean, they moved the ball nine yards forward. One or two, you may think, nah, it wouldn't have made too much of a difference to the goal. But nine, it played a massive part in the goal. I mean, it's ridiculous how the referee and the linesman didn't pick up on that. Um, it's it's a bit unprofessional by Hull, to be honest. They probably uh, should have been honest and kept the ball where it was meant to be played. But unfortunately, they scored from that. And uh, it, it was a fairly scrappy goal, but... At the end of the day, we were 2 0 down. We, were, we really did have to show character from then. And after that goal, we really started to get into it more. We looked an awful lot more dominant. Um, we controlled the game. We, we were definitely dominating possession. Uh, and we scored a lovely goal through Santa Cazola. Arguably, the whole keeper should have done better. But I'm not taking away anything from Cazola because it was such an amazing goal. The free kick passed, um, passed the whole keeper into the back of the net to put us back in the game. And it was such an exquisite free kick. And I think that's the first goal we've scored this season from a set piece. Um, and what a goal it was. Uh, and that put us right back in the mix of things. And we really look, did look an awful lot more possessive and dangerous on the ball. And leading up to half-time, you're kind of thinking, come on, get one more before half-time. Get it to 2-2 two -two and we'll go out and we'll punish Hull. We'll steamroll them in the second half. But that wasn't to be. Hull, Hull defended excellently uh, up until half-time. They went in um, on the better side. 
being 2-1 up and we came out, we looked an, um, a transformed team, I don't know what Wenger said in the dressing room but we looked, we were just so in control, it was so much, it was um, a carbon copy of that performance we had when we beat them 3-0, we were just so in control of the play but uh, all these moves again where we weren't able to do anything and because that was Hull was sitting so deep trying to defend their lead, um, you know they were having players down for absolutely ages, the likes of uh, uh, Steve Bruce's son were on the floor taking absolutely forever to get off the pitch. Their goalkeeper was taking forever at every free kick, um, goal kick should I say. But, you know, we came through in the end, thank God, through Lauren Koscielny. He hurt himself in the process, but it just shows what he's doing for this team. And it was a, another really scrappy goal, but uh, lovely corner in and all Koscielny had to do, it was a lucky deflection really to get to him and all he had to do was poke it into the net. He did really well, his back to goal, put it in the net, back in the net. And it put us 2-2, back in the mix of things. You know, we were so in control of the game and bringing on Yaya Sonogo, reverting into that 4-4-2 formation, did us um, a whole world of wonders. And that has seemed to work for us every time it's happened this season, which uh, seems to be only twice, and it's been been in uh, both cup finals. And, uh, yeah, Sonogo coming on, changed the game. And Sonogo, he gives his absolute all for the team. I mean, he doesn't really look like scoring that much of the time, but he's always in the right place. He actually is really good on the ball at times. It's just that sometimes... Uh, his control lets him down a bit. I mean, his legs are really gangly at times, and some of his shots are really poor. But you know, he's young. I'm sure that will develop over time. And you know, he's played in the FA Cup final for Arsenal. He's really helped us to get to this position, and uh, I'm sure things will come good for him in the end. And he do he really does look promising. So hopefully, we'll see a bit more of him next season. Anyway, uh, the, the game ended at 2-2, and it was inevitably going to go to extra time, and, and you know, hopefully not penalties. Um, and, you know, it was kind of real edge-of-seat stuff then. And, you know, I did feel a little bit hard done by it because all these commentators were going on about Hull. You know, you, you wouldn't really say rightly so. I mean, a lot, a load of people root for the underdog, which was Hull in this case. And everyone was saying that they should have been 3-0 up uh, if, you know, Gibbs hadn't cleared the header and they maybe should have won the game. But I don't think that was fair at all. I think it was totally unjustified. I mean, so many people were overlooking the fact that we should have had at least four Stonewall penalties. I mean, the handball, the Huddleston challenge on on uh, Giroud, the Curtis Davis challenge on Cazorla. I mean, that's free right there. There was another one, but I can't quite remember it. And, you know, the refereeing in today's game was absolutely dreadful. And I think we've done really well to pull through in this one. Given everything that went against us in this game, I think we've done remarkably well. And it just shows excellent character. But anyway, relating back to where I was in the game, um, extra time. And we came out, and it was just another opportunity for Arsenal to really control the game even more and hopefully push on and get that goal which we did through probably our best player this season, Aaron Ramsey. What a fantastic goal it was. And Giroud, who had quite frankly been having quite a very poor game, a lovely back pass to him. And, you know, the finish was undescribable. It was absolutely amazing. Ramsey, Charlie George esque of his celebration. It was just such a great goal outside of his boot, just inside the post. Uh, the keeper couldn't reach it and just a perfect way to end the game. I mean, Ramsey scoring the most important goal of the season, the FA Cup final winning goal. I mean, I can't quite imagine how he must be feeling. That's such a great moment for him. And if that doesn't give him confidence, I don't know what will. And hopefully, well, I, I know he's going to bring that form into next season. We're going to be seeing an even better player when he's fully fit for a whole season. And, you know, there were, there were a couple of substitutions that changed the game. I mean, Wilshere set up the goal and he did remarkably well when he came on. As did Rosicki, they added so much flair and intensity to the game. And we looked so much more refreshed when they came on. And, um, yeah, we've won it. What can I say? We are FA Cup champions of 2014. And, you know, there's no better feeling in the world at the moment. And hopefully we can go on and push on to bigger and better things next season. And hopefully, you know, we can really be in contention for winning the Premier League. I mean, a couple of good buyers have been saying it pretty much every video now. But two or three world-class buyers, and we are right up there. Hopefully, you know, I'm really hoping we get Sanya penned down to a contract. If you saw him today... His emotions were flying high, running around at the trophy, you know, integrating with the fans. I'm really hoping that he'll see sense and sign a new contract with Arsenal. But for now, um, I'm over the moon. Enjoy tonight. Go out there tomorrow to the parade if you're living within the London area. You know, even if you're not, make sure you get down and support the boys. Um, just show them how much this cup means to us. And uh, yeah, they've been my thoughts on today's game. Leave your thoughts in the comments box below. If you haven't enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV as well as AFC Game by Game and hopefully we'll be seeing more positivity next season.